friends. Proverbs 18.24 One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. In the 90s, there is this hit comedy TV show, Friends. It is about six friends who go through just about every life experience imaginable together. Love, marriage, divorce, children, heartbreaks, fights, new jobs, and job losses, and all sorts of drama. Friends lasted for 10 years, and up until now, it is one of the most watched TV series on Netflix. What endears friends to viewers is not their brand of comedy, but rather the feel-good depiction of friends. Having friends is the most beautiful blessing you could ever have. To be honest, by just looking at this picture, you remember your friends and you miss them, right? It just made you feel nostalgic of all the fun you had together, all the moments you shared, secrets you've kept just the beauty of friendship. But have you ever asked yourself, am I a true friend? Today, we will shed light to what a true friend is through the life of David and Jonathan. Long ago in Bible times, there were two friends named David and Jonathan. Jonathan was the son of Saul, the bad king of Israel who turned away from God. David was a shepherd boy, chosen by God to become the new king of Israel. King Saul was jealous of David because God chose him and constantly tried to hurt him. King Saul even tried to get Jonathan to help him hurt David. Please, my son, assist me in my plan. I can't do that, father. David is a good friend and I won't help you hurt him. So be it. I won't hurt your friend. Jonathan was a loyal friend to David and constantly watched out for David and protected him. But one day, Saul went back on his word and tried to hurt David again. David went to Jonathan for help, and because they were such good friends, Jonathan listened. Jonathan came up with signals to warn David in case he found out King Saul would try to hurt David again. Jonathan paid close attention to see how King Saul felt, and during a royal dinner, King Saul spoke out. David will never be king, even if I have to kill him. When Jonathan heard this, he quickly went away to warn David. While David was in his hiding spot, Jonathan gave the signal for David to run away. Jonathan and David never saw each other again and were very sad. Years later, David did finally become king, but he found out that his friend Jonathan had died. There was hope. David soon found out that Jonathan's son was still alive and grown up. David looked for Jonathan's son, and when he found him, he brought him into his own family, as if he were his own son. This was a story of friendship that was so strong, nothing could separate it. David and Jonathan showed what friendship means. They showed us what a true friend is. A true friend is a giver. A true friend seeks to give rather than to receive. It asks itself, what can I offer to my friend rather than what can I take out of this friendship? People saw David as a powerful ally, a great warrior. Surely nothing could go wrong if you have this wonderful person on your team. However, Jonathan saw David not as a warrior, not as a powerful ally, but a friend. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 4, it says, Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David, along with his tunic, and even his sword, his bow, and his belt. The symbolism of Jonathan giving David his robe, tunic, sword, bow, and belt is significant. Jonathan did not only give David his robe, tunic, sword, bow, and belt as a material gift, but rather it is a way for Jonathan to uplift David's stature to Saul's court at the expense of his own. A true friend does always think of what's best for his or her friend. A true friend does not count what he, what he has already given. Rather, a true friend seeks to give. He does not have a tally sheet. Are we a true friend? Let's evaluate our relationships. Why am I friends with blank? 
Is it because he or she always treats me with food? Is it because I can borrow money when I'm in need? It is because he or she is a valuable asset for me in the future? Or is it because I benefit from him or her? A true friend is a giver, never a taker. Second, a true friend is a protector. A true friend wouldn't allow destruction to befall to a friend. When Saul sought to destroy David, Jonathan was the first to protect David. Saul was angry with David because he knew God was with David. He knew that David would someday be king, which means Jonathan would never ascend to the throne. David de- David's death means Jonathan becoming king someday, and David being alive means Jonathan would never be king. Even if Jonathan will benefit the most if David died, he chose friendship over kingship. He chose to protect David rather than material gain. How wonderful it is to have a friend like Jonathan. So how about us? Do we seek to protect our friends even though their destruction would benefit us the most? We now live in a world where friends betray friends for personal gains. It happens at school, it happens at work, it even happens among church workers. In a world where true friends are a scarcity, be a friend who seeks to protect. Lastly, a true friend is... Mm, can't find the word. Let me explain it this way. A true friend will be sad for his friend's failure, even if his friend is also the one responsible of his own letdown. A true friend will celebrate a friend's success, even if they're both aiming at the same goal. So what's the word I'm looking for? A true friend is a friend. That is the very definition of being a friend just being there in their ups and downs. Just like Jonathan and David, when David won against Goliath, Jonathan was with him in celebration. When David was hunted down by Saul, Jonathan was with David in spirit of sadness. They were friends. In a world threatened by pandemic, it's a good to have friends. Let us thank God for the gift of friendship and let us be an example of what a true friend is. Let us pray. Dear God, our dear friend, we thank you for allowing us to develop real friendship among our fellow. We thank you for all the people you have sent in our lives, for all their help, love, and care. Help us to be real friends to them as they have been for us. May your spirit guide us towards building lasting relationship or lasting friendship with one another. And together, May we overcome all the trials of life. Lastly, dear Lord, may your love and protection be with us, especially for those who are at risk in this world of pandemic. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.